always finishing with a long stroke. Smooth it all out. So shall I do the um, forearm move now? Okay. So with this one, I take her arm and give it a little rock with one hand. I'm just holding it here, so it's just helping it to let go. And I'm taking, sitting on the table and putting it over my knee like that. And then I'm going to use this part of my arm to work up this side of her spine along the muscle. And this can be a really deep move, but so you want to be really careful. Check in with the client, not go too deep. And I'm just putting a little bit of body weight into it. And check in with her. Does that feel like it's okay pressure? Okay. And go up between the shoulder blades, between the shoulder blades and the spine. And then you can do, just lean into it, breathe, and a little farther, lean again, breathe, a little farther down, and always being careful to stay off the spine. And here I'm using this part of the arm, not the elbow. Back up again, and lean into it, breathe. How would you use that part instead of the elbow? You don't want to use the sharp point of the elbow, it just would be uncomfortable. So when we're using the forearm, you always just use this party arm, it's a lot more comfortable. And here you want to be careful with your body mechanics too, that you're not overextending your shoulder, your own shoulder. I'm not using too much pressure. And then you can give a little rock and go up. As I'm doing this, you can kind of feel for what depth works right. You can go a little bit deeper, just feeling in what feels right for the for your partner. You can also go down slowly. From this angle, you could turn a little bit and work on the lower back a little bit, too. So I'm mainly just working along this, these muscles here along the spine again. And back up. And I feel like in, with her, the upper back is the tightest, so I'm getting more attention up there. And from this position, so that you're here, you can also work a little bit more with your hands, with your fingers, putting the pressure in with your fingertips up between the shoulder blades here. It's a good position to work from. And you can work a little bit more on the shoulders. here I'm using both hands with my body weight so you can put a little bit more pressure down over the shoulder Up, another rock, back down. 
Okay. You want me to do the other side, or what do you want to do? Maybe I should just do it for us so she's evened out. Yeah. I don't know if you want to do it again. Maybe we get a better. Mm -hmm. Ready? Okay. I'm going to take my hand here and just kind of scoop it under like that and pull it out. Take my other hand and place it over my knee like that. But I don't want to waste your time. Mm, no, I don't pull rub it in. No, I don't want to. We appreciate your, your willingness to. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh that's great. Good.